What we do at Blue Nose, we offer aerodynamic improvements to ships in order to reduce their fuel consumption. In 2020, there was a new regulation that completely changed the industry in the sense that it forced ship owners to move from crude oil to refined fuel. We did a lot of research. We saw that a lot of technologies existed to improve the hydrodynamics of the ships. Um, a lot of technologies were developed around wind propulsion, but almost nothing was done to improve the aerodynamics. So we saw that there was an opportunity and that's how we, we started the project. We use a shape generation algorithm that allows us to generate optimized and tailored shapes for our client's ship. Once the shape are installed on the ship, they are able to prevent the air recirculation and they allow an improvement of 3 to 5% in terms of fuel efficiency. If we were to equip the container ship population alone, we could prevent the emission of 11 million tons of CO2 each year. And that's equivalent to 2.2 million cars off the road each year or to 400 million trees growing for one year. I took part in the innovation design engineering course that was provided by the Rye College of Art. Uh, that was an amazing transition towards the entrepreneurial journey as during that course we were very focused into finding a real-life application for innovative technologies. I met Lyon in an engineering school in France and actually our friendship was kind of built around our same passion we have for the sea and technology and maritime technology. It was through those conversations that we had regularly that Blue Nose was born. The RCI has offered us a very strong backing. First, we had an amazing support in terms of IP or patent protection. We had support regarding mentoring. We also had access to an amazing network of collaborators, but also founders. Founders that are experiencing the same challenges as we do. And by exchanging with them, we're able to grow as a collective. The funding is going to be really key for us, because in order to enable our impact in the industry, we need to deploy our first MVP, our first solution in real life condition. And SMI support and Thea Carta's Design Lab funding is what we need to reach that goal. It would actually mean a, a lot to, to see that all the work we've done until today has been in some kind of way recognized. So yeah, it would mean a lot. What we really hope to see is how our solution is going to impact that whole industry, not only in terms of CO2 emissions, but also in how it can raise awareness towards the impact that is caused by the shipping industry.